Okay, we're going to talk about the RAM 45 power uh, control box and the RAM 45,000 RPM handpiece and how to do a take down and repair on it. First thing we want to do is disconnect from our power box. Push it aside. And you're probably already familiar with taking the collet out and changing collets. So we're going to take the collet out and lay it aside. I looked all over the internet for instruction on how to repair one of these and I couldn't find anything. After this one started making a racket, I decided I couldn't hurt it by tearing it apart. So that's what I did. I'm going to try to give you the benefit of what I learned on it. Screw off this front nose piece. It's on there just hand tight, does not require any wrenches. There's a printout on the internet I'll show you in a minute that you can find. Take this part and just lay it down. Pull this out. Let's sit it down. Take this off. Now when you pull this one off, there's some parts inside that will come off with it. And I'll show you how to be sure you put those back in the right order. That gets the top part. You got a bearing here. One part of that stayed inside here. You got two metal washers and one washer with rollers in it. Then this piece just twist off back cover. It's on there pretty snug, but it's a normal thread. They're real fine. Don't just screw it off. Slide it off of the cord. Set it down. Okay, that gets us down to the, this point. You've got little tiny Phillips head screws. These are your brushes, motor brushes. You've got one on each side. You could take it apart just by taking these out, but the problem is you can't put it back together unless you go by the procedure I'm going to show you. Remove the brushes first. And be sure you're working over a surface where if you drop these screws, you can find them. This is one of the motor brushes. And they're interchangeable so you don't have to worry about which one's right and left and all that. Call the RAM people first about how to lubricate one of these hand pieces. So they said do not under any circumstances lubricate it. Well I'm going to tell you up front I'm not responsible if you tear your hand piece up you'll just be out $135 price for a new one. So don't come back and say that I told you to do this. I'm not telling you to do it. I'm just saying if you want to, you can. There's two pieces in here that are going to fall out if, if you don't take them out. So rather than lose them, I'll just take them out and lay them down here. You don't have to worry about it. They won't go back but one way. Okay, then we've got two more Phillips head screws to take out, one on each side. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to do this. You do need just a little tad of mechanical ability. Be sure and keep up with your screws. The screws are different. Uh, the ones that hold the brushes in are different from the ones that hold the this retainer in so you don't have to worry about 
mixing them up. After you get that out, this piece just wiggle it a little bit. And you'll feel a tug on it. That's the magnetic armature. Don't worry about it. You're not pulling a spring or anything. Just pull it on out. Now sometimes, let's set that down. Sometimes it comes out with this bearing still on the armature. Sometimes you take it out, the bearing might stay in the housing. Don't really matter. Pull this off. That's your brush holder. And this is the rear bearing. This is the one that started giving me trouble. Now when you buy these bearings, they're about 50 something dollars, $13.95 each. Here's your new bearings that they ship you. You get an 830, which is this rear bearing. That's your 830. You get a two front bearings. I'm going to show you those up inside this piece. You have, this is a bearing right here, and this is a bearing. That's your 1480 and your 1280 bearings. To replace those, there's a little C-clip right here that you would have to take off. I'm not going to take it apart, but you, you could, and then this just slides apart. You can take it this on out. This is the part that goes down on the end of the armature shave. This is a spring that gives you the tension to lock in your your two. And all this goes back together. Goes up in the nose piece. The only thing that I did find, when I mentioned the printout. Here's a printout showing you the assembly order of the hand pieces. This one's a little different uh, appearance, but the part numbers are the same. But this is for the 45,000 RPM. This shows all the parts. The only thing I found different is this one bearing they say is a 1040 well, what they'll actually ship you is a 940 but it is the correct part the 940 is the correct part when you get